Let's turn to Governor Kasich. He's counting on Ohio. It's a must-win state for him. He's the governor. Listen to this. You know, uh, we're all familiar with, uh, with March Madness, and now the home court advantage is coming north. And next week, we are going to win the state of Ohio. It'll be Ohio. Former Attorney General of the United States of America and a Kasich supporter, Alberto Gonzalez, is with us this morning. Uh, sir, it's an unusual for us to be talking about John Kasich as opposed to your work as Attorney General, but that's where we're going this morning. We're going with Kasich. It is, I think you'll admit, a really, really long shot to see John Kasich as the Republican nominee. You'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Well, listen, this is outside my lane in terms of the, the probabilities and what, what needs to happen, the likely scenarios. Uh, what I look at are, is the qualifications of the people that, that are still in the race. And from my perspective, as someone who's actually been with the president as he de deliberated who, sh who he should appoint to the Supreme Court, uh, with the president in the Situation Room as he makes a decision about sending men and women into battle, I have a pretty good idea of what kind of special person it takes to actually serve in that office. Mm -hmm. And as I look at the landscape, uh, without question, in my mind, you know, John Kasich is the most qualified. So that's what I focus on. Uh, people, I'll let other pundits, uh, political experts, just, uh, evaluate whether or not there's a realistic shot. From my perspective, I think he represents the best hope for America going forward. Got it. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Now, uh, next case, DNC Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She yes. says... There is no one facing the threat of indictment on the Democrat side. Um, want to make any comment on that? Well, that's just political spin. And, and, and by the way, one thing that, that was said in the previous interview with Judge Napolitano, this will not be an FBI indictment. The FBI is in the business of doing an investigation. They'll take the evidence and they'll present it to the Department of Justice. They'll probably make a recommendation as to whether there, there's enough evidence there for an indictment. But at, at the end of the day, it's the prosecutors at the, at the Department of Justice, the Attorney General in particular, who's going to make the decision as to whether or not to pursue an indictment. Now, of course, the President of the United States, as head of the executive branch, could overrule could override the, the decision by the Attorney General, but as a general matter, it is the prosecutors within the Department of Justice who are going to make the decision as to whether or not an indictment is appropriate. And I think uh, the chairman of the DNC, I think, again, that's just political talk. I think there is certainly a threat, a possibility, a real possibility of something happening uh, at, from the Department of Justice. But to repeat, it is President Obama's ultimate call. He's well, the again, one who says yes or no. Well, what I suspect is going to happen is that the Attorney General will have the final call within the Department of Justice. There probably will be some kind of communication with the White House informing the White House this is the decision of the Attorney General. And then the President may or may not weigh in. I, I hope he doesn't weigh in. I think that puts the President in, in serious political danger. I mm -hmm. think he should defer ultimately to the decision of the, of the professionals at the Department of Justice. Mr. Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, I'm, I'm glad we eventually got back to your turf. <laughs> because <laughs> that is your turf. <laughs> that is my turf. I'm much more comfortable talking about that, but I'm a big supporter of yeah. John Kasich, and I'm, I'm very optimistic about his chances. Okay. Thanks very much, sir. We appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. You bet.